when I was learning to try to become an artist, I felt so inadequate that as soon as I got something that looked reasonable in, in some kind of sketch, I just made it because I was so, so thankful that I didn't have to feel anxious anymore hmm. because I felt so inept and not confident in my drawing ability. So instead of making a drawing that I liked and then going, great, what if I went, great, let's make it. And then when you have that vocabulary, then you can be creative with how you do your layers to make something you like. But it's difficult to make something you like if you don't have the principles, like if you forgot to put flux down over your copper, like Denny almost did today. So she would have had pink over the copper and it would have looked, um, it would have looked like this instead of that. This is one of a series of earrings I did yeah, 40, uh, 35 years ago. It's combining the letters like here, there, and then opaque layers. And then we can go a little further. This is one with Scraffito. And um, here's one, here a couple using a stencil to create lines and shapes. So when I looked at these two samples, I see a, different, a definite difference. I see that this piece, no matter how I angle it, it looks clear to me and very reflective. This piece, sometimes I angle it and I see a little bit of the texture. Sometimes I angle it and I hardly see any of the texture. So this one looks cloudier to me right. than this one. I don't think it's the metal, I think it's the enamel layer. So now my questions are, why would that happen? What is causing that layer of enamel to look different than this one?